Hello everyone. I am in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I just ended an absolutely fabulous yoga retreat in this magical place. And I'm so happy to bring you here with me. So as we go through our morning flow, and the intent is to wake your body up, to breathe deep, to really set good, positive intentions for your day. It will be all standing. Um, so obviously I'm on the sand, but you can have your mat out. <laughs> and again, I just really hope that you can take in this gorgeous beauty because there really is so much beauty around us. The Arizona sunrises and sunsets are just incredible. So take in this beauty and I encourage you to think about all the beauty that you see throughout your day after this class. So we'll get started in mountain pose. Standing tall, confident, feeling your feet ground, thighs firm, feeling bracing in your core, fingers reaching down as the crown of your head reaches up. And let's just start with some deep breath and movement, inhaling into your belly as you reach up and then exhaling, reaching out and down. Moving at your perfect pace. And again, just focusing on deep diaphragmatic breath. Giving yourself permission to do what you need during this practice. And sometimes that's pulling back and just breathing deep. So flow is just a place where we get lost. You are so in the moment, everything else just starts to dissipate. And you're aware of sounds, temperatures, sensations in your body. I invite you to be fully present and to observe without judgment because you're exactly where you're meant to be in this moment. One more deep breath and release. Now take your shoulders up, back and down. Creating more space between your ears and your shoulders. Just think of waking up and taking care of you. Release your shoulders. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Bend your knees slightly. Open and expand your chest. And then bring your hands together. Reach forward. Reach up, lift your ribs side to side. And relax, shoulder rolls. Just taking away a little of the tension that many of us tend to hold in this area. Release, fly your arms, engage your upper back. Bring your hands together, reach forward, palms forward. Gently come up and go side to side. Release down. One more time, big shoulder rolls, back down and up. Open your chest. You think about opening your heart, opening up to all the possibilities. They're always there. 
even when things, and excuse my word, are a little crappy, there's always things to be grateful for. Now come center, press your palms forward. Reach up and go side to side. Relax down. Now with your arms heavy, heart lifted, just to the front, take ear to shoulder, chin to chest, and ear to shoulder. These front half neck circles are excellent to do throughout your day. This is one area that many times we don't realize that we're gripping, holding, and just let your head get heavy. And if you're feeling very stable, feel free to shut your eyes at any time. Again, it just brings you in. One more in each direction. And then bring your head up center. Let's find five star position. So your feet are wide. Toes are slightly turned out. Now get expansive. Feel your feet ground. Feel your hands reach corner to corner. Take up some space. Just notice how the stance makes you feel. Powerful, large. We all have a purpose. We all have a strength something that we are meant to share with others. Now draw your elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Feel the power of your upper back muscles. Reach up. These are called moon flowers, so you can do any part of this. Knees align with your toes as you sink down, squeezing your elbows back, and then reach up. As you press evenly through your feet, you're feeling your inner thighs and your glutes firing up. And you're just sinking down to where it's right for you. And again, moving at your perfect pace, so moon flowers. Just simply breathing deep. Or if you'd like, try to inhale as you expand and exhale as you sink in. One more. And then reach up. Bring your hands to heart center. Now with soft knees, hands on your thighs, openness. Take a hinge from your hips. And then hinge up and reach up. If you're taking care of your low back, hand support on your thighs or you can sweep your arms down. Your gaze should be going down and then up. These are called sunflowers. You'll feel your inner thighs, groin area open. And again, think about expansiveness, taking up space. Your right to take up space. Inhaling up, exhaling down with your hip hinge.
one more sunflower, and we'll meet with hands at Heart Center. Now let's pivot around and find your railroad tracks for Pyramid. Feet are hip width apart, you're nice and tall. You can leave your hands on your thighs, fly your arms, or maybe even just come into chest expansion, reaching down. And start taking your hinge, finding the spot where you feel opening all through the back of your forward leg. Pause right there. Your gaze is down, chin is a bit off of your chest. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And then gently come up, reach up. Release down, chest expansion, and take a hinge. Come up, reach up, and we'll do this flow one more time. Pressing down, hinging. And then gently come up, turn back to the front, and let's come back into five star. And this round, we'll do one moonflower, one sunflower. So the moonflower, we open our chest, and then the sunflower is the hinge. Exhaling down, inhaling up, hinging and sweeping. I invite you to get a little lost, just to feel what you feel, notice what you notice. Wherever you are, complete one more round of moonflowers and sunflowers. And we'll meet hands at heart center. And when you're ready, we'll pivot around, finding the railroad tracks, ground your feet, set yourself up, hands on thighs, flying, chest expansion. Let's do pyramid on the opposite side, hinging forward, pausing. Coming up, reaching up. Sweeping your arms down, opening more, take your hinge. Hinge up, sweep up, and one more time, open. Come back up, reach up, hands to heart center, and we'll shift back to the front. Five star position, moon flowers and sunflowers, creating heat for your day, 
positive energy. You're strengthening your legs, opening your heart. There's so much going on right here. These are also great for a work or a study break. You're feeling stagnant, get up. Do some moonflowers, some sunflowers. You may find your creativity increases. You're able to sit down and do that task that maybe you were procrastinating. Two more rounds, knowing you can take a break at any time. And we'll meet hands at heart center. Walking your feet in, bringing your feet either shoulder width apart or big toes together. Squeeze your inner thighs, press your palms, further activating your abdominals, and then sit into chair. Pause right here. Lie your arms. Hover your thighs. Now, Lift your torso up and reach up. Hands to heart center. Lace your fingers, reach forward. Up. Side to side. Float your arms down. And this time one shoulder at a time shoulder girdle mobility. Release. Get tall, press your palms, sink into chair. Soft gaze about three feet out in front of you. Tell yourself, I have strong legs. Right here, fly your arms. Maybe take a hinge, hover your thighs a little more, really feel your powerful legs. And then sweep up, you're still in your legs. Your bottom is back, spine is long. Hands to heart center and lift. Reach forward. And up, side to side. Release down, one shoulder at a time. And we'll do one more flow, pressing your palms, sinking down, breathing. Shaking out your shoulders. Flying your arms, maybe hovering. Sweeping up, but yes, you're still in your legs. And then gently coming up. Palms forward. Reach up, side to side. Float your arms down, one shoulder at a time. Now take your feet apart. Let's take three deep breaths in, just as we began. Inhaling up, taking up space, exhaling down. Now, as you're breathing this time, 
I'm going to give you an I am statement. You can take it in. You can let it pass on by. I am worthy. So inhaling, I am. Exhaling, worthy. For many of us, this is a very hard statement. But we are. We are all worthy. Regardless of any mistakes we've made, anything we've done, we're all worthy. Maybe shutting your eyes two more times. I am worthy. And release. Standing nice and tall. Let's go back to the neck. Ear to shoulder. Chin to chest. Ear to shoulder. Even yourself out. And then bring your head up. Now we're going to come wide. One leg is forward. And your back heel is up. And we're just going to flow into a hip flexor opening in the high lunge position. So by tightening your glute, you're going to inhale up, push your hip forward, and exhale down. And you can bend into your front leg and then even come up and lengthen. So your front knee again aligned with your toes and start to feel a sinking, opening, and then coming upright. Again, opening your hip, high lunge position. I'm just starting to flow, to move, to really notice what feels right for you, no one else. Two more. And then come center. Now we're just going to pivot around and do the opposite side. Again, I'm on some pretty sinking sand here. <laughs> so always take time to adjust. <laughs> but you're tightening the glute, pressing your hip forward as you sink down and then come up. Notice your feet grounding energy through your fingers. Again, allowing yourself to get a little lost. Even if you have distractions wherever you are, notice them, just let them float on by. And release. Now coming center, and you may want a chair, a wall for the balance asanas. And I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. Ground one foot. And an option is just to bend the other foot. Or you can take your hand out, thumb up, reach around, grab a hold of your foot, reach your other arm forward. Thigh is next to your thigh, hip is forward. And the yoga asana pose that we're moving into is called dancer. So any of these options are a dancer. 
Now, if it feels right for your body, you're gonna start to kick, to push your foot in your hand, and you're gonna reach forward and hinge from your hips. So again, your foot and hand are pushing away from each other. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you fall out, tell yourself, good job, get back in. You could be holding a wall or a chair in front of you too. Come on, two more deep breaths. Still, solid. And then gently come out the way you came. Shake it out. Let's try the opposite side. So you're gonna ground your foot, get very, very tall. Bend. And again, this is a wonderful starting point right here. Your thumb is up. Maybe you're gonna reach around, grab the inside of your foot, press your hip forward, hold here. Feel the front of your thigh opening. Reach your hand forward. Find a soft spot to look at. And when you're ready, you're gonna to start to kick and reach. So your foot is pushing into your hand. You are reaching forward. You are doing that hip hinge we were practicing. Dancer. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just a few more breaths. Celebrate even a second of stillness, celebrate it. And slowly come out as gracefully as you can. And note that we all fall out. <laughs> all of us, yoga instructors, everybody, we all fall out from time to time. And part of yoga is how do we respond when we fall out? Do we beat ourselves up or do we say, you know what? Good job, you tried. Each time you show up and you try, you get stronger. So start to notice, we definitely wanna be our own cheerleaders. That's how we develop and we can cheerleader others. So standing tall now, inhale up, hands to heart center, and to your thighs. Bend your knees and either take a pause right here at your flat back. Remember, this is always an option versus the forward fold or forward fold. Hold your opposite elbows. Let your head hang. And then shift your weight a little forward and back. Notice the sensations. Even out your weight in your feet and then maybe sway a little bit side to side. Hold your torso, head, you can shake it yes, no, arms are heavy. Come into a half lift to flat back and then inhale up. Exhale, shoulder roll. And let's try that one more time. So coming into a hinge, maybe hanging out right here, or if you go down, I'm gonna ask you to grab your elbows the opposite way. If you can't remember, just fold forward, grab them one way, and then switch it out. And again, shifting forward, back, maybe side to side. Knees are soft. Coming to a half lift. Inhaling up and bringing your hands to heart center. Now I invite you to sit in a comfortable seat. You may want to elevate your hips, sit in a chair, 
sit on your couch, just sit tall. I'm gonna walk away and I'm just gonna guide you through a morning mantra. You'll be enjoying this view. So find your comfortable seat. Take any movements that you feel your body needs and enjoy this view. Bring your notice to your natural breath, inhaling and exhaling. As you exhale, think about softening your face, softening your jaw, softening around your eyes, your neck, letting the shoulders and your arms, hands and fingers get heavier and heavier. Inhaling and exhaling. Gazing out at the beauty. Knowing there's beauty all around us. Maybe even looking around the environment you're in. What's beautiful? What are you grateful for? And it could be yourself. Now again, you can just let this float on by. I know this is a tough one, but you may wanna bring hands to heart center, gaze out and spend just a few minutes Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, I am. Exhaling, worthy. I am worthy. This can bring emotion, tears, all kinds of things. And that's good. We need to release. I was really reminded about that on this retreat. We need to release, we need to connect in. I am worthy. One more time with conviction or not. <laughs> I am worthy. If your eyes were shut, go ahead and open them. Give your body a gentle shake out. And I encourage you, if that resonated with you, if that brought up emotion or thoughts, to journal about it. Just take out a pen and paper, get on your computer, write what you feel. It's very therapeutic. Or take that I am statement and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Your bathroom mirror, your computer, write it out. If you're creative, make it an art project. Make it a pretty I am statement. And with that, we will end our morning session, again, from beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And we'll end it with a namaste. The light in me respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining. We will have one more of these from this location. So I hope that, that you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.